Yeah, even even just like a falling axe ground pad would just cover that wall. It's just a buzzsaw falling down. Um, lots of options there uh, on all of the players if they want to go for those edge guards. But so far, everybody on the main platform, Deku kind of faking over to the corner, looking for someone to come down, maybe try to get a turnaround. But uh, so far, it's main stage damage for the red team. Oh, left side, Chedro does get the nair, looking for that ground pound follow-up, but Daiku able to avoid it again. Ground pound attempt from Chedro, he does get the snare. Daiku gets caught by the ground pound, and Chedro is gonna take the first stock off, and he's not done yet. Weapon tosses following up, just in case, as Chedro does get that neutral stick on the TV. That is giving me flashbacks of the match years ago on Great Hall, where Chedro gimped both Dobrin yeah. and Daiku. He just did it there, first to Daiku and then to TV. That's what Daiku's gonna have to be careful He's of. He's not Chedro's done yet! Looking at He's it not again. done yet! Three He's ground pads! Going. Four ground pads! Daiku with the relief! Chedro can't get the stock, but Chedro's still not done yet! As TV is so low, Chedro looking for the nair. That was. So much pressure put out. You can look in the top right corner. Daiku and TB are about to lose their second stocks. TB just did. Dobrain, not even close to losing his first one. Daiku just died as well. Like Dobrain came in, hit the big axe there. Chedero and Dobrain coming out big. That's what Daiku has to worry about. Well, I guess TB as well, but Daiku is one. Oh. Chedero, is he gonna take him again? Daiku, he's, he's, this is what we're talking about with the Daiku stubbornness, the Daiku confidence. He suck around. It he works out it in his time. favor, though. He does end up punishing Chedero for going in, but they are still a stock behind the red team. Nice neutral light coming in, picking up both members of the blue team. Time TV looking for the gauntlet kit onto Chedero, but Chedero with these weapon tosses, <laughs> three hammer tosses, Daiku, Daiku goes, goes in. in. He hits TB, Daiku goes down to the Axe Dare and the weapon tosses from Chedero. He he didn't go for anything big, he's just hitting weapon tosses on top and you can see on your screen the damage relegation on the blue team. That's all thanks to Chedero with those big games. Dobrain just kind of maintaining it, holding it down, playing simple, but it was Chedero with the big plays on both blue team members. Those weapon tosses are such a big brain move though. He had oh, TB yeah. down below him. What are his options when TB's below him? A ground pound? That's way too much commitment. You don't have to go for that Lots there. Lots of startup as well. A down air? Sends doesn't, him up. Doesn't have that much range and it sends him up. So with that weapon toss, you're just keeping him down there, keeping him down there, keeping him down there. You're gonna build that damage up little by little. If he gets up and to your side, you hit him with a side air, it's gonna send him into the blast zone, ton of variable force that'll kill. If he gets above you, you go for the recovery. Ton of variable force, that will kill as well. So those weapon tosses were the best option that he possibly could have taken there. Not just in terms of uh, his range and hitbox and damage and force, but also keeping himself safe. It's really intelligent stuff. We do see Daiku, he was uh, waiting to lock in this Asuri. I might have just been talking with TB, but I was, I was gonna say that maybe there's the potential for the Daiku swap, but no, they are gonna be sticking with it, immediately banning out Shipwreck. They might still leave Miami Dome on the board and just adjust their play style though. I could see that coming out of the Daiku TV team to saying, hey, uh, we still have confidence in ourselves in the edge guard, but Chedro looking so incredibly strong on all of the walls. It looks like they're taking the goofy edge guard maps out mm -hmm. of the way though. No shipwreck falls, Can't go no under. kings pass. Are they gonna take Thunderguard out or not? Because that is sort of I could see them banning Blackguard as well here. Nope, it looks like they're gonna leave Blackguard, Thunderguard, and Brawlhaven on the board. Um, likely we'll see them lean towards small Brawlhaven uh, for the red team. But nope, again, they're gonna go to Blackguard Keep. EU, they just, they don't ban the way that I expect them to. I mean, they don't play the way that you expect them to either. Yeah. Those boys in EU, they're crazy. They are uh, wild two, boys. One, but we are going right on into game two. Dobrain and Cheddar are one game away from knocking Daiku and TB out of the tournament, locking them into that top uh, sixth placement, I believe. Uh, but we're going in, Daiku with the Katars. He's again, he's dared onto TB. He's adding a little bit of damage onto TB a little bit uh, in every single game. Uh, but he's going for that neutral stick onto Chedro. Couldn't quite get the hit. Nobody in that kill percentage yet. Looks like they're all kind of vying for that center stage position. Uh, nobody able to completely maintain it. Uh, as they are just back and forth on it, TV looking for the gift. It's gonna be Daiku with the neutral stick. Yep. Great right on the edge. 
Daiku hitting that gravity cancel neutral signature, putting out some serious punishment onto the red team, trying to get vengeance for what happened before. TB ends up taking out Dobrain on the right side. First two kills going the way of the blue team this game. Down air from Cheddar will send Daiku up. Down air from Cheddar will send TB up. He's looking for these down air kills onto both blue team members. Stomp side air and TB will go down. Daiku, another edge guard attempt, but it's gonna be a recovery from Chenero underneath, evening up the stocks, getting that double KO. And there's that almost bull mentality that Daiku will have where, where he will just charge in. He will keep going in. It was fatal for him in the first part of last game. Then the kind of second time it happened, it was good for him because they were able to take out Chenero in the process. But then that time, Chenero was just waiting for it. You know he was playing down there, being like, Daiku's just gonna come down here. I know that. <laughs> I know he's gonna challenge me. And I am going to punish him for it. Uh, Chedero just very confident in those positions. We do see him getting that Nair onto TV, uh, but it's onto the same stage, so it's gonna, uh, onto the main stage, so it is going to just bounce him up. Dobrain picking up that neutral stick, sending TV flying, not quite enough to kill Chedero. Just really throwing out signatures at Daiku. I don't think uh, they would have killed from that position. Maybe the side signature would have, uh, but uh, either way, it's kind of just threatening Daiku, just saying, hey, I know you're unarmed can't really punish me for going for these signatures. Nice follow up from Daiku off of TV's neutral light that locked both members of the red team in place, but it's gonna be another neutral signature from Dobre and Daiku getting sent off screen. We could see a kill against him. I he don't get think, the touch. oh, he did. Okay. I think that counted as his touch. I was wondering if yeah, he was like I thought on he was the transition the period, yeah. Uh, but it looks like it is going to be Cheddar who does go down stocks even between the two teams. Dobrin playing very high in the sky, trying to avoid the power play, but he does get caught by the recovery. Still not enough to kill him off. Looking for the kill onto Daiku. It's between Dobrin and Daiku. First one to go down is going to be the one in trouble as far as teams go. Dobrin looking for signatures. But Daiku, Kimpotem, has to avoid the recovery. Cheddar has burned the recovery. Meanwhile, Dobrin goes down to try to give him some breathing room. Weapon toss, got to be careful. Like, oh! catches Dobrin! Daiku and Dobrin both go down. And it is still even between the teams. Chedero has to be careful. He's in the red on his final stock in this game. If they win this, they'll take it 2-0 over TB and Daiku. If they lose this, it'll be a game three situation in the loser's bracket. TB just playing underneath Dobrin. Dobrin comes down, catches TB with that side air. Chedero with the weapon toss into the air. TB gets sent flying. He's currently unarmed. He gets caught by the neutral sig. It's all down to Daiku as Chedero hits the recovery. Chedero just keeping that damage going too. Gets the recovery into the air. It's left to Daiku versus Dobrain. Looking to like a 2016 EU yeah. 1v1 game right now. These are X teammates playing against one another. The weapon toss is coming out from Dobrain. He has stage control. He has weapon control. Daiku is just chilling on that soft platform on the right. Dobrain with the only weapon on the stage. A weapon spawn comes up. Daiku doesn't tunnel vision. A weapon spawn comes up. Daiku doesn't tunnel vision. It's a very patient game from Daiku. He knows what is on the line. He knows that if he loses this, they are knocked out of the tournament. He is not going to risk that for his team. He wants the guitars, can't quite get the side air, but now we've got the 1v1 opportunity. We do see Dobrin playing far back, does not want to let Daiku get on top of him. He knows that uh, he will be at the disadvantage if Daiku can stay snapped. Both players do have the weapon, but Daiku is definitely at the health disadvantage. At this oh! point, it's the neutral signature sending up and to the right. Dobrin clutches it out 2-0, going in favor of the red team.